Hello my dear family members, today we are going to discuss a coding questions of Cognizant which was asked recently in the recent drive. As you know for cluster 1 the Java, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and SQL are important and for cluster 2 Python, SQL and cloud computing are important right so prepare accordingly. You know as we have been solving Java, Python, SQL questions of CTS from the very beginning now we will discuss a HTML, CSS, JavaScript coding questions which may be asked and which can be asked in the upcoming exam right so let's see the question so the question is regarding to do list application so you are tasked with creating a simple to do list application users should be able to add mark as complete and remove task okay so your objectives are create a form to add new task so here is as you can see uh, in, in the expected output so here is the input field for adding new task and this is the button for adding task okay uh, then display the task in the list with the checkboxes to mark them as complete. Okay, so uh, the task will be displayed in the next line and you have to have a, a status like completed or not completed. Okay, then implement functionality to remove task from the list. Okay, so there will be a functionality to remove the task. Okay, and style the completed task differently. Okay, so the task is very simple. So this task will be completed using only uh html part okay so new uh, you have to create a form then uh, create an input field then add a button then you have to create a list item or another list to store all the task okay so i hope you understood then add event using javascript and add style using css so i hope you understood the task right so if you understood then please solve the problem by yourself and give the answer in the comment section and if you can't solve then please watch further okay and as you can see this problem is from our prime materials and this type of problem are being asked uh, in these days right so if you want the prime materials of cognizant in which i have included all the html css javascript codes by java code python code and cloud computing codes as well and all the sql codes right so if you want then please knock me at my study instagram.com slash techno.ef you will get it and be mindful this is paid okay and this is very affordable okay so i hope you will get that so let's see the solutions uh as you can see i have written the code in vs code you can use any other editor okay so at first i have written the title like to do list you can use any other uh, title okay so this is not mandatory and then i am writing the form i am creating the form right and with the uh with the id task form then i'm creating the input field with the id task input type text and then uh, i'm writing the placeholder as enter new task and this must be uh this is compulsory to write any task okay that's that's why i'm uh, i'm giving required okay then i'm creating a button for adding task like uh, type is equal to submit and add task is the uh, this is the text which will be shown at the button okay and then i am closing the form and then i am creating an unordered list uh, with the id task list in which i will add all the uh, list item i will add all the task right uh, and those will be added through javascript okay so now what i'll do uh, i'll write css okay so as you can see uh, the form is having the id with task form and this is the id of input like task input and the id of another list is task list okay so just remember this one thing to remember that uh, i am writing whole code in only one file like uh, inside exam.html but inside exam you will get total three files uh, .html, .css and .javascript i mean .js so you have to import the .css and .js file inside your uh, html file okay nothing else so here i am just writing uh, the css code inside the style tag and the javascript code inside the script tag okay nothing else so uh, i'm giving the font to the whole body like arial and sensitive then i am uh, giving margin uh, to the form like uh, 20 pixel in the bottom and uh, i'm tagging the another list and giving the list style none to remove all the uh, if you don't give list style none then all the another list will be coming in the form of like bullet or any other form right so you have to remove the bullet so for that we are writing list style none okay so li uh, we are tagging the list item when we will add the list using uh, javascript then 
uh, this will be reflected okay so padding 10 pixel and, and background color will be this margin bottom display flex certify content and all the elements will be in the middle so i hope you understood and then li dot completed i am coming this here after javascript because this will be created using javascript okay then we are giving style to the button tag like background color is this color is this border cursor padding this okay nothing else so i hope you understood let's go to the javascript code uh, where the students mainly get stuck okay so uh we are writing the javascript code inside script tag and as you can see we have to write this inside the body tag okay uh, okay so at first we are getting the id of the task i mean getting the id of form like task form so document dot get element by id we are getting the task form id like we are going to do something with the form okay then we are creating an event and like a submit comma function event and then we are uh, creating a variable like task text in which we will store the text which is written by the which is added by the user as a form of task okay so we are getting that input using this document dot get alien by id and we are tagging the task input we are targeting this task input and then dot value we are getting the value of the text whatever uh, he had uh, added like uh, to do list so he can play he can uh, go hang around okay so if he has written uh, hanging okay so the hanging will be stored here in the task text variable okay now we are uh, calling a function add task and that task in the form of arguments okay then uh, we are creating we are uh, nullifying i mean we are removing the text from the task input field okay so in this like document dot get element by id and we are targeting this task input then dot value is equal to null i mean dot value is equal to empty so this way we are removing the text from the task input field then the function which we have called here we are implementing here so let's see so as you can see uh, we are creating the add task function with an argument like uh, the text argument then we are we are uh, creating a variable in which we are getting the id like document dot get element by id task list so this task list will be stored inside this task list then we are creating li i mean list item inside this uh ul right so constant li is equal to document dot create element li then we are creating the li tag inside another list okay then we are writing li dot inner text is equal to task text and this is the same task text okay that means the task will be stored in the form of list inside another list in, in this way okay so i hope you understood then we are creating a variable like complete button so if the task is completed so we have to write complete right so that's why we are creating a button right so constant complete button this is the variable and is equal to document dot create element button okay so here we created a list item and here we are creating a button item okay so button element okay then we are uh, writing the text which will be shown in the button so complete button dot inner text is equal to what complete so this will be shown at the button so we'll create a an event on complete button like when it will be clicked then this will happen li dot class list dot toggle completed okay so that means uh, the list item will be having completed class after this is clicked okay before uh, click on, before clicking on complete there will be no class inside list item but after clicking on that there will be a class named completed and this completed class is tagged here right so li dot completed so uh, this will be triggered like text decoration is equal to line through so there will be line created through the uh, through the text okay that means this is completed so we have written this okay so i hope you understood then what we are doing that we are creating a remove button so constant remove button this is the variable then document dot create element and we are creating a button again and we are giving the name of the button that is remove button dot inner text is equal to remove and remove button this is the remove button so remove button dot event listener so we are creating an event for this as well so when it will be clicked 
then the task list dot remove child so task list is what task list is the parent class right inside uh, sorry task list is the parent id and this is the parent tag ul in which uh, inside this uh, the list item are the child elements and we have to delete that list item that means the task right so task list dot remove child li okay so this will be deleted and then li dot append child complete button li dot append child remove button and task list dot append child li and we are uh, closing the funds uh, curly process and the script as well so i hope you understood let's see the output if this is giving proper output or not okay so uh, this is the ui whatever we have created okay so let's say i am creating the task at first meet okay so uh meet i mean meeting okay so add task then the task is added like this meeting complete and remove okay then we are creating another event let's say uh, another task let's say write okay writing and we are writing then this is added okay so if i want to uh, give this status like completed then i'll write completed so the, as you can see there is a line through the text whatever we have created uh, inside the css okay and if you want to remove this let's say if we want to remove this so just click on the remove and this will be removed so after clicking on the remove the list item is being removed actually okay and if you cl uh, click on remove then this item also removed okay so i hope you understood right so if you understood then please like share and subscribe and if you want the source code then join our telegram channel t.me slash ubkanna you will get it and and if you want the prime materials right so as you can see this is the prime materials of us where we have uploaded many codes like this so if you want then please join our telegram channel and please a uh, damn me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.ef i will try to assist you okay so thank you for today's session